Hey, Four Leaf, what's up, my man? This is Scott at Reindeer Studios. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hey, not to interrupt you, I know you like to talk, but I'm filming right now and I need to move this fake phone call along. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So I have a super cool Ted Williams card I want to sell you. Yeah, it's one of those Upper Deck Vernon Wells deals. Right. Since we're such good friends, I'll let you have it for 10 cents. Yeah, I know I'm supposed to ask for exorbitant amounts of money, but I'm trying reverse psychology on you. But I just remembered you'll buy any card for 10 cents. Shoot, I've messed this up. What? Okay, I'll gladly sell this to you for 40 bucks. I'll even throw in a Teddy Ball Game Doodle. Sweet, Four Leaf. Thanks, dude. Hey, superstars, welcome back to the quest for my Holy Grail card. This is my series where I'm trying to sell off worthless cards for exorbitant amounts of money so that I can eventually buy my Grail card, a T206 Cy Young portrait. But to make it work, I'm including some original art. I said, but. A while back, my good buddy Fourleaf asked me to draw Boston Red Sox legend Ted Williams for him, but he wouldn't tell me what he wanted done. He just said to have fun with it. So how can I argue with that, right? I almost immediately thought about the hitting machine and his cryogenically frozen popsicle head. I figured if Fourleaf didn't really like it, at least Little Leaf would. And instead of looking up grainy old photos of Ted Williams for reference, I could look up pictures of giant robots, which is always fun. And then I spent a bunch of time, probably too much time, reading about cryonics. Williams has his whole body frozen, but his head is separated because the head is considered the most important part of the whole deal. Anyone said hitting is 50% above the shoulders anyway. Did you know it's only like 80 grand to freeze your head? It seems reasonable enough. I mean, I'd have to do a lot more doodles to make that kind of money, but it could be done. And then in like 400 years, I could come back and hopefully the pandemic would finally be over and I could be this crazy art bot guy with like interchangeable markers for fingers and I could get a ton of commissions done really fast, but baseball would be replaced by something called Zorp Ball and fanatics would hold the exclusive rights to Zorp Ball holo cards and the Dick Perez art bot would probably control the market on Zorp Ball art anyway. Hmm, where was I? Hey, it is time for a terrible joke. So this one is more of a math problem. The Boston Celtics are chasing the Boston Red Sox headed west down Newberry Street. So what time is it? Give up? It's five after nine. Get it? There's Teddy ball game. That was a lot. Of Sorry, that's the doorbell. I'll be right back. Hey, everybody, it's Four Leaf. He stopped by to pick up his doodle. All right. Hey, thanks for my card. 40 bucks, not so bad. It's actually pretty sweet. What do we got here? Can I open that? Yeah, you can open it. Bonus? Bonus. For your, for your best customers. Right, don't tell anybody. That's pretty slick. 408, 416, 409, 401. It's kind of cheesy to use all the same picture. 409, yeah, it's... We gotta talk to the art department here. 
397. So all the dates in there. Is this part of a, a bigger set? I don't know. I don't even know. 2007. Well, that's pretty cool. Thanks for the bonus. All right, let's take a look at this bad boy. You guys ready for this? I don't even know what it is. Well, they've already seen it. Oh, they've already seen it? Yeah, this is the end of the video. Oh, man. You guys are all cheaters. You ready? Or am I ready? Is it upside down? Which way? This way. Whoa! Wowzer! Holy moly! That is phenomenal. Man, look at all the arms. That must be like, if you were a pitcher looking at Ted Williams, that's what you're looking at, trying to get it past him. Holy moly. Is that his like head is cry cryogenically frozen? Right. Holy moly, this thing is legit. <laughs> Power level 100. Man, thank you, this thing is beautiful. Thank you. All right, hope you guys enjoyed that as much as I do. All right, thanks for Leaf for helping me out. It was awesome getting to give it to you in person. So glad you liked it. And we're getting closer and closer to my Cy Young card. Thanks everybody for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, yada, yada, yada. And we'll catch you next time.